Hey you guys, this is Screeching Squid 3G with another video. And remember how in my last video I said I will never be doing these alone. And I am serious with that. These videos will be continued on with continuously different ver varieties of people. All with their own opinion, things they like, and things that make them different from every other person. So, in this video we will be doing do's and don'ts with a friend. And today we have Axel. Hello, Axel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> today we're doing modern society etiquette. So, the etiquette in today's society and how we feel about these etiquettes and um, our opinions on them. First off, we, uh, you do ask questions. Asking questions makes your conversational partner feel validated and important. Showing an interest in their life that endears you to them. Being a good listener is good. Actively discussing another person's life really goes the extreme mile towards showing your interest in their world. Yeah, I agree with that one. Yep, asking questions all the time, ethically. You agree as well. Brings communication. Communication is key. We don't interrupt. Most of us don't mean to barge in. I'm one of those people. I seem to interrupt people a lot when they're having a conversation. I'm always like, wait, well, hold up. Let me have my topic. I want to say something. I want to say something. And then they're like, no, you're going to be quiet for a second. And we're going to say what we have to say. <laughs> then we'll get to you. So don't interrupt <laughs> like I do. Don't be like squid. Don't interrupt. <laughs> so, yes, don't interrupt the conversation. Don't bar barge in. Alex, do you interrupt sometimes? <laughs> So it seems to be a universal issue some people have that we really want to say what we have to say in the moment so we really try to butt in but you do should not butt in don't interrupt do dress to impress as a guy or a girl i can tell you that many of us were not really taught the rules of fashion uh yeah not many my mom's always trying to teach me that and we never cared about it that much. But whether you're looking to impress a romantic interest or simply looking sharp among a group of people, do your best to don clothes that look good and that are washed and neatly clean. I'm not saying you have to wear a suit all the time, like it says. I don't have to wear a tux or a bow tie everywhere I go, but just dress to impress. Number one thing, I can put the phone down for this one. Don't neglect your hygiene. We don't want you smelling like you just crawled out of a sewer drain <laughs> and you haven't taken a shower. You haven't at least put some perfume, some cologne, or some deodorant. Jeez. Especially when you're working with somebody, it's a co-worker, and you have to stand next to that. I know I've had that happen to me before. Standing next to a guy or a girl that really stinks. <laughs> Please, worry about the way you smell. I have spray cologne. She probably wears perfume. She keeps herself neatly groomed. Do your hair. Just, it looks good. It looks good. That's all I gotta say. It's, it, it helps other people. Come on, you can add into this, Axel. You probably had a few experiences where someone's standing. So, you, you smelt and you were just like, no. <laughs> no. It just shuts you whole. Yeah, it's like, look, I'm about to puke. I'm going to have to go outside. <laughs> I need a fresh breath of air. Do you gauge in your audience? Uh, you may have heard that you can determine someone's interest and in by looking at whether their feet point towards you during a conversation. That's one way to gauge reactions, but simply observations of tone and body language should also do the trick like that i always show off my body language and i also try to fix my tone of voice when i'm speaking to people so i don't feel like i'm either getting angry some people say are you angry with me no i'm not i'm sorry my tone of voice went off the deep way i'm not angry with you i don't that's not what i was trying to imply i'm sorry let me try saying it in the better correct way because sometimes we don't understand how our voice works and sometimes we make it confused and you just got to fix it and apologize and say, I'm sorry, that's not what I was trying to say, the way I word things. Um, the funniest thing on this list, guys, 
is don't show YouTube videos. Thanks to modern technology, Facebook and YouTube, a hey, YouTubers, and other popular online sites provide numerous ways for us to occupy our spare time. Yes, I can probably say I could probably do a questionnaire and get a big group of people, including all of Axel's friends, and ask them all, how many times in the day do you find yourself scrolling through YouTube and watching a YouTube video here and there? Probably a lot. You probably kind of get lost in the YouTube world. <laughs> I know a lot of people I do. And I'm guilty of one of that too. Do prepare topics ahead of time. Some people are quick thinkers and can keep a conversation going indefinitely without trouble. However, most of us have at some point reached a point where we want to discuss something but couldn't think of what. Yes, I have that issue with a lot of people around me trying to think of something to talk about. And I think that would also imply in making a relationship with someone, a personal relationship, Axel, or a romantic relationship, Axel. It's hard to really start a conversation with someone when they're distracted or they're doing other things and you just want the person to notice you and you want them to give you full direct eye contact, show the feeling. Especially Axel, her partner, probably you want them to stare at you as you're staring into their eyes and just be like, please, listen to me when I talk. We need something to talk about. We need direct eye contact. <laughs> Don't lie, <laughs> or at least be very careful with it. This one also probably sounds obvious. Yes, it does sound obvious. Don't lie to people. Tell the truth. Tell the truth to all your friends. Tell your truth to your parents. Tell the truth to your counselor. They're not getting paid for nothing. Talk to them. Tell the truth. They need they need that knowledge. Don't lie to their face. Lying just gets you nowhere. Lying to your counselor, Missy, and lying to your partner is wrong. It makes your partner feel like they can't trust you. They don't want you around them. There's no build it. There's no build there. There's no build. But you're gonna lie to your counselor when they're trying to help you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lie to that person, even though they get paid to listen to my crap every day. I'm just gonna lie to their face. That's 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 stupid. That's yeah, no, I don't want it. All right, Axel's got some opinion. Opinion. I can give you the floor, and we're on the eighth one. So, out of all the things, the topics we talked about, you can give some opinions if you'd like. Is there anything you'd like to say? Okay, I, I think that's a very good way of putting it, especially the cheating way, the cheating topic you just talked about. That is perfectly said about the cheating. Perfectly said. Do act or be confident. I know, I know, talking to someone new can be scary. I don't know who you are. Why are you talking to me? Yes, talking to someone can be a little scary. There's a reason public speaking is our number one fear, but sometimes you just have to suck it up and put on a happy face. Let me see you smile. Come on, Axel. Smile for me. <laughs> you just have to suck it up and put on a smile. Uh, an eager mask that will ho hopefully eventually melt. Now, best way I can put this in a physical manner. I know all my YouTubers have been on this channel for a very long time. If you've seen a lot of my props and a lot of things over the years, a lot of my props have either gone, destroyed, lost, thrown away. But one prop, guys, that I found not too long ago has actually stayed with me for this long. This we can call is the confident mask for me. You guys know it by the shadow screecher on my channel. But this will be considered now my confident mask. You put on this mask. It closes you. It closes all the noises around you. And you only focus on what's in front of you. It makes you feel more confident in yourself. And a lot of my people that know me personal can say 
that Screech and Squid 3G is the most confident person they've ever met. When I walk into a room, everyone's like, wow, that person right there, they have confidence to walk up to anybody and say anything to them. That's me. I have that confidence level that just, I, I get a crown on my head for being the most confident person many people know. Confidence. That's me. I am the confidence person. And number one to lead off this episode is don't look at your phone. And I've been guilty the whole entire time. Oh, surprise. Don't check your phone. Like YouTube, there are certain situations where this can be all right. Sometimes you're waiting an important text or such in those cases. Helps to let your partner know that you're on the lookout for a vital message. Give them an explanation and let them know you're interested in topics and simply need to monitor your situation status. But don't always check your phone. Keep this out of here. The best way I can put it in this video is I'm going to chuck it. Don't be on your phone. Chuck it like that. Don't be on that. Don't break your phone, though. Don't break it. It's not broken. Don't break your phone. Throw it. Get it out of your life. Concentrate on the person that's in front of you like I've been doing slightly in this whole video with Axel here. Pay attention to what's in front of you. Talk to the person. Give the person communication. Key like this. And yeah, everything should work out when you're socializing with a new person in your life. Social etiquette. Best way I can put it. Now, Axel, anything you'd like to add on to this interesting topic for us? Anything you'd like to say? I mean, welcome to society. That's the way I could put it, right? My screechers, welcome to society. There's lots of peers and pressures and things in our world that tries to get us to do things that we shouldn't. Peer pressure is the number one thing. You get pressured by so many things. You feel like you have to be a certain way. And um, lots of people, you try to also fit in. I know I've been through this and Axel has been through this. Everyone has. We've all been trying to fit in people in our world. And it's just hard to do that when you fight with yourself constantly and you tell yourself sometimes that I don't want to fit in. I know I do, though, if I'm ever going to have friends. But I also feel like I just want to stand out and just be myself. I want to be who I am where other people can understand me for who I am. I don't want to have to feel like I have to close all my doors and be this fake person with this mask someone that I'm not, and it's just, it hurts. Once you start bottling all that up to all those people and you're fake with those people, it just starts to hurt. And then when you finally come out as the true you, they don't like you. They delete you. They block you. They tell you to get away from them. They don't like the real you. And maybe they weren't your friend to begin with. If they didn't like the real you, then maybe they should go. They don't like you for who you are. And I only try to put people around me now that accept me for who I am, that, that care about me, that love me, that look out for me, that want the best for me. That's all I try to put in my life now. And I hope that people here online are doing the same in their life. They put only the good people in their, in their hearts and around them, especially for Axel, my friend that's tagged along to this video with us today. I hope... She you've been putting nothing but good people in your life, um, people that care about you and that, you know, that want the best for you, not people that only bring you down, toxic people. We do not, Screechers, need toxic people in our life. We do not. And, yes, it's a pain. And I like to say that that should end it off for our video today. I'd like to thank you guys for coming out here for this video today, a little topic, educational. We taught you some things today. I hope you learned some things interesting, especially from Axel's opinion. I think they were greatly helpful, honestly. There were parts, things that Axel has said that I was just like, yes, better said by you, Axel, for sure. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment subscribe make sure to hit that bell notification and as always squid slap with me to end the video slap your face very hard
Love you guys. See you guys for the next video. Peace.